Hello everybody, Chaos Chunk here, and today I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little video on basic Applied Energistics ME system. This is the basic how to get started with Applied Energistics and making an ME system. Very first thing you're going to need to start with is an inscriber. That's where you got to start, and because you need your logic presses and stuff like that to make the other machines that follow. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a quick little piece of silicon here, printed silicon circuit the um, with an inscriber silicon press. Then you're also going to need to get uh, an inscriber logic press, and you get these from Meteors in Karma. You can actually make them yourself um, with a little bit of resources and stuff like that, so you can make them in Karma. So our logic press, and then we're going to take... Actually, I already have them made, so we're going to go ahead and put one together here real quick and show you what this is all about. So really, this is the basic basic component that you're going to need to build in order to move on to the other stuff is a logic um, uh, logic processor. So Inscriber, very first thing you need, plus, of course, your Inscriber logic press and your Inscriber silicon press. A basic system consists of a form of power, power transfer, and storage. That's, that's the basics of a system here. Uh, the power is I'm currently using a vibration uh, catalyst here, vibration chamber. Power can be provided by any method you want. It, 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 EU, RF, MJ, if that stuff even still exists, all of that kind of stuff um, is then converted with a power transfer into being able to power your, your whole system. The bigger that your system gets, the more power it will take. So you definitely have to plan ahead for growth of the size of your ME system. This is a basic ME chest. Um, you have to have a storage cell in it to be able to store things in it. I will do another video at another time to explain why you want to use 1K and 4K storage cells versus using um, your uh, 64Ks and your higher K storage cells. So here's your basic system. Power power transfer, and storage. I'm going to move on now to get into a little bit more advanced beyond this system so that you can get into more storage and storing more things and bigger systems. But everything is going to use this basic component. When you step up to this, this component, you're starting to use the Inscriber Engineering Press with a diamond. And the Scriber Engineering Press is going to be used um, to create your ME drive. So instead of holding one storage cell, the ME drive stores 10 storage cells. I'm going to go ahead and get this powered up. You can see that the power is going through our power and our energy acceptor, power, you know, transfer. It is now powered up our cell. And then we have a terminal to be able to access our things in our system right here. So as you can see, if I come back here, you can see that there's no, zero of zero. If I pop something in my system, it currently has one of 63 types, and that's how we can access it. Where I believe that the ME system separates from everything else in, in the progression of the ME system is when you start stepping up to using ME controllers and ME crafting terminals. Both of those require crystals that take an extended period of time to grow in a pool of water. If you don't know about how to grow crystals, I have another video coming up that will show how you grow crystals using a crystal growth chamber um, or the growth accelerators from Applied Energistics. But this is where it separates. And the reason it separates is specifically because of time. This is an ME controller. Again, it's a power transfer, but it's also a lot more. It takes pure fluix crystals, which take an extended amount of time to grow um, in the system, and you have to build other things to get to this point. You don't need this to get your basic system. You can build a basic system without these things. When you advance your system and make it larger, this is where you're going to get into controllers and um, crafting terminals. So we can fire this baby up right here and we can show you once it starts getting power that this thing will blink on. And you'll notice that now our drive is engaged and we can put whatever we want into here uh, without a problem and so on and so forth. So guys, um, it, it, and this is also, of course, where you use your inscriber calculation press uh, and quartz service to pure service to make your crafting terminal and so on and so forth. I hope this clears up um, how to get into basic 
applied energistics, um, just to get a basic system up and running. Um, we're not going to get into channels here or anything like that, which I will get into in this video over here that I have yet to do. And so there we go, guys. Don't forget to come check me out at Chaos Chunk, uh, Twitch TV forward slash Chaos Chunk. Don't forget to lick, like, and subscribe. Have a great day and we out.